Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Two Point Hospital, and more importantly, welcome back to Duckworth Upon Bilge, our publicly funded hospital where we last episode finished the one star objective. Today we are going to be going for the two and three star objectives. Now they're pretty simple, we need to cure 100 patients, get a reputation of 75%, staff morale of 75, and get our hospital level to 12. Now one of the things that I noticed from the off is that we have queues building up left, right and centre. So it may finally be time to expand into another area of the hospital. So I'm kind of looking at what plots we can take on. This one here, number four, uh, is fairly sizable, as is plot five. But also we have plot three here, which has a nice L-shaped forest and is a little larger than those other two. But what I want to do is try and get something that's kind of close by. This little plot six here, 25,000 is an, an okay size. And then this one here, plot two, at 40. I think for now we should be investing in one of these two buildings just to give us a little bit more space to grow into. So we're going to take on plot four. Uh, maybe plot three. No, plot four. We'll take on plot four. That will give us a nice little bit of space to build into. While we're doing that, we're just going to carry on speeding things up, letting the queues build. <laughs> but over here, we're going to throw down a GP's office immediately, or we may well move our resolution lab into there to have another GP's office here in this main uh, complex. Another thing I want to talk about real quick, Two Point Campus has a release date announced now of the 17th of May this year. That's actually 10 days before my 33rd birthday. Uh, not that I'm getting on it or anything, but you know, uh, I will most likely be hoping to wrap up the Two Point Hospital series uh, by then. So what might happen is we'll go full hog on Two Point Hospital so I can get that finished and then bring Two Point Campus out rather than having uh, like what's currently going on with the Jurassic World Evolution series where I'm running two games at exactly the same time. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'd quite like to do. Get Two Point Hospital done, finished, all of the DLCs done as well. And yeah, uh, get, get on it with uh, Two Point Campus because I'm quite excited to. I think I'm quite excited to see it. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the guys bring and uh, what chaos we can cause in that game. So, we're going to put down another GP's office here. Uh, I kind of want to have two, really. So, we're going to put one here. Then I'm going to move the training facility. We're going to just edit you and bring you over into this new building here. That works all right. And then we can copy this GP's office and have it here. It leaves a kind of little weird corridor, but we'll shove a few benches or something in there as well and uh, we make better use of the space over here just by moving some of these benches down and another one in the corner here great and then we like, have a leaflet stand that can go there that's fine right so we've got two more gps officers that should help with the queues and it's probably time to hire a doctor we're gonna get vladimir eruption wow I like it. And we'll take Brandy Rascal as well. And we're going to immediately send them off for training in general diagnosis. I know we're not covering up. Why haven't we had a um, public talk? Go get a level 4 x-ray. Uh, we better do that. I guess we could put an x-ray and a fracture ward right next to each other in here. Put our radiation shield in. We'll just leave that at that for now. We do need to get it at level four. What am I doing this for? This is not <laughs> a level four x-ray. Uh, why would you have windows in an x-ray? That is like a recipe for disaster. Right, we'll put a radiator in. We're at level two still. What can we throw down to uh, really boost this one? I know, we can go and get our usual certificates and stuff. Our bronze star award, a silver and a gold. That'll put us up nice. Uh, we'll put a clock in right here and a notice board. None of this is particularly pushing things up. Can we throw down is this ivy actually good? Oh God, I hate this bloody rotation thing. Um, where can we put you? You're not even gonna fit in, purple plant. Come on, purple plant. That barely gave us anything. Right, well, it's time for as many Gold Star Awards as I can fit on the walls. This is a really, really reputable x-ray 
I'll have you guys know. Like, you have no idea how good it is. Right, there we go. <laughs> Fix invalid items? What's invalid? Why are you invalid? Has this poster made the whole... <laughs> oh, dear. No, you should be valid. Why are you invalid? Why can't we get to you? Is it the plant? Is that the problem? What? I am confusion. I am mega confusion. There we go. It was the hand sanitizer. Right, okay. We have a level 4 x ray. We got 24 grand. Uh, award. Mu Ooh. Award. Mu award emergency. Cool. Right, head office. Uh, send you home. And. S right, okay. So definitely getting a fracture ward now. That's, we've got a good reputation. How come we've only cured one patient since this whole thing started? Oh, because we don't have enough treatment rooms. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that is a problem. Yeah, we don't have enough treatment rooms at all. Well, I guess it's time. Water 10 plants. Get a level 4 surgery. I was wondering where that had gone to. Right, I think it's probably time to train a surgeon then. So... What have we got available? Surgery. What have you got? Bedside manner. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Right, I can't actually afford to build a surgery right now because of the fact that I need to hit these targets and this is what's actually going to slow us down. We do have a doctor researching there that will bring us in 20,000 as soon as we can possibly get that done but we are going to need a few more um, ways to generate income watering 10 plants is not doing particularly well for us right now god that's a lot of people coming in needing a surgery and we don't have a surgery <laughs> and can't afford to build one might I add because the uh, amount it would cost us to build one unless Let's build a surgery. We'll get it level four. Oh god, there's disasters happening all over the place here. That's there. That thing. The table. And then we'll just throw down a load of... I'm going to delete this room immediately on completion. I just want to use it to uh, grind out the target, really. So we got 75 grand for that. And then we're going to sell the surgery. Because we don't have a dedicated surgeon anyway, so... That's fine. Great. That worked pretty well. Got us a nice bit of money. The Mega Scanner is really filling up. And I don't know why J Field. Let's. Um, what can we do about this? Other than buying a second Mega Scanner, which is going to cost a ton, really. 62 grand for a second mega scanner. I don't think that's a good idea. Right, what what else? What else? Come on. We've completed that staff challenge. Alright, we haven't got an do we have another water ten plants? But if we don't have enough plants in here to it, let's build let's put some more plants in. Let's get a load more plants in and hope that they uh need watering very quickly. The basic ones should actually need watering pretty often. We got a bin that needs empty. Where are our janitors? For Christ's sake. Come on. Do your jobs, guys. This part of the hospital's filthy. It's absolutely disgusting. We need to uh, get some janitors over here to uh, sort it out. There's a load of plants now that they can be watering though, so <laughs> I've just made a little forest at the back here. <laughs> That'll do for now. Right, we can definitely do with some bins here as well, actually. Let's throw down some bins. Uh, we'll just use a normal bin. They're just throwing their crap on the floor and crapping on the floor as well. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, you are close to death. Should I send you home? What do you need? You go into a GP's office? Send you straight for treatment. Oh, I mean go home. 
Sorry, mate. <laughs> Thermal comfort of 80%. And we're at 78. Fantastic. Right, okay. Let's get some radiators in here. <laughs> oh, Foxbridge, you're just throwing the money at me, aren't you? Right, uh, go 90 days without a death. For <laughs> I can't promise that. Right, let's uh, just uh, quickly go to our staff a second, because one of my... Um, yeah, Pandora, you're only going to be working in the Mega Scanner. So I should now have two doctors capable of running the Mega Scanner, and that should bring the queues down. Can we upgrade these? We can. Right, let's get the Mega Scanner upgraded there. Get a level 4 surgery again. Well, Lord Foxbridge, you shouldn't have. <laughs> It's time to build and demolish a surgery within seconds of opening it. Doors. Things. Screen. Sink. This is how you cheat the system, guys. This is how we get public funding for doing nothing. Boom. Give me my money, Foxbridge. Fantastic. Sell the surgery. Yeah, come on, give me another <laughs> level 4 surgery. <laughs> Where's our doctor gone? You've gone for a break. We should maybe put another staff room in. And I'm going to make this a little bit more of a conventional one. He says, then makes it an L shape. That makes very little sense whatsoever. There's method in the madness here. I'm putting a toilet in now. Right there. See, I told you. Trust in the process, guys. I know what I'm doing. 50% mm, of the time. I nearly said 90, but that was way too high. <laughs> Let's uh, have the uh, Mega Scanner upgraded here as well. And then hopefully we'll be uh, all good. This is the first instance of a mock star patient we've had here. Oh god, look at them all coming in. Hey ho! <laughs> right. 90 days without a death, we've failed it. Oh, <laughs> I think we've gotten pretty far into that as well. Oh god, look at the pile up here. Uh, and now the deaths are starting to pile up as well because of the wait time on these mega scanners. Hopefully. Are you repairing as well as upgrading? I don't understand. You have been upgraded. You are also getting an upgrade. We've got another staff promotion and a public target to promote a staff member. Oh, this is fantastic. This is wonderful. Where's the psychiatrist gone? Do we have one ready to go? Oh, a psychiatrist with surgery. Yes. Water templants done. Went chaotic to calm in a short space of time there. Hospital level 12. We are on 11. The staff morale is probably the next thing that we're going to need to push. Deluxe clinic. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here that I haven't seen for a long time that's like just showing up all of a sudden. Yeah, the mega scans get absolutely flogged, don't they? I think it's because of the fact that they're kind of a fast track diagnosis. So, yeah. Generate 200 research points. That's one of my favorites. And promote a staff member. Oh, would you look at that? A staff promotion just fell into our hands. <laughs> These are the public targets I like, man. Keep them coming, Foxbridge. We're doing pretty well. I'm really surprised. I'm really pleasantly surprised. You can tell because I'm having a lot of fun playing the game today. <laughs> it's going, going swimmingly. New targets generate 200 research points. Two lots to generate 200 research points. Foxbridge, man, you're on my side this week. You are on my side. I'm going to put some radiators down. I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel warm and fuzzy inside, so you guys get to feel warm in this hospital. There we go. Right, let's throw some of these bad lads down. A bad lad. It's a fucking radiator, man. <laughs> Excuse my language. An epidemic. More money. Right, where are you? Okay, so there are more infected in this epidemic. I've got one more to find. I didn't realise your staff could get it as well. That's pretty interesting. Oh, I thought he was one, but no. He's just got mocked off. What are these guys are having a lot of fun? Uh, someone needs a head office. 
and the shock clinic, you're all going home. I don't want you in here. Why are you guys running? Oh, the ghost. Don't run, please. I can't tell if you've got an epidemic or and got an epidemic. <laughs> can't tell if you're infected. Oh, you are. Oh, you weren't. You were just scared, weren't you? Damn it. <laughs> Radiator in place. We just push this up to three again. Coffee maker in every room. That's what. That's how I attract staff. Coffee maker in every room. What's the arm bot? I don't know, but we're going to put it in. <laughs> arm bot constantly sanitizes sanitizes your hands. Uh, I should stop trying to make jokes because I always trip myself up, don't I? Right, let's find a blueprint for the toilet. Gold star awards for everybody. I like to think that I just print these off and write a random name on it. Injection room, go home, DNA, go, get out of here. Alright. So we should probably hire another nurse as we now have the... What's it called? The surgery. We're going to need a nurse to assist these people. And then we should probably look to get a launch a marketing campaign. I'm sorry, I'm going to take the reputation drop for that because I'm not doing a marketing campaign. And my reputation is 93%, man. We're doing well. Staff morale, 70. Holy hell, we are nearly done with this one. We need to find a way to boost our staff. What is going on here? What are our janitors doing? Like, honestly. Right, you are on ghost capture only. Nobody is doing anything else. I don't know why you guys are taking so long to get around the place. We've got two ghosts running around here and a crap load of ex ex ectoplasm. Ectoplasm! We can put a few sculptures... What is that on the floor? Oh my god! You guys are gross. Seriously. Sort it out. So right now I'm just going to have to like wait for a little bit to grind up some, some more cash. Luckily we've got two researchers working in there so that should be really quick to, to improve the funding that we've got. But these queues are insane. And it can only be because of the reputation being so high. When we were like knocking around the 60% mark. We didn't really have an issue here, but now we're getting more patients coming in because the reputation of the hospital has increased so high. And we're not actually curing any. I uh, Like, we've not cured a patient for... Oh my god, what's going on here? Janitors, where are you? The x-ray machine's on fire. Come on, man. Get on with it. Thank you. Upgrade it, please. Okay, 10 grand remaining. We're going to get that with this. So that's going to get the staff morale up a little bit more as well. Cure three patients in the pharmacy. That's a staff promotion. So that's another one done. Another staff challenge done as well. Staff morale at 65. These guys are in a lot of trouble. We need to... Uh, I wonder if it's worth us accepting and then abandoning a few quest quests, a few tasks from Foxbridge to uh, bring our reputation down a little bit. Okay, we are back, and you will see this stream of people leaving the hospital. So what I actually decided that I would do, instead of overgrowing, sorry about the death noise there, I've killed somebody else. Instead of growing too quickly and expanding too quickly and putting the uh, hospital in financial risk, I decided to just send home the people that were on low health. Obviously, that's very nasty of me, but what it's actually done is it's increased the morale of the staff because they weren't so overworked, because the queues reduced dramatically, and it's allowed us to cure the patients that we actually have a chance to cure very quickly. So we've kind of got to this stage without actually doing any further development. In fact, the only thing I've done since I sped through the recording was put a new reception desk in, and now I don't even need that, so I'm going to sell it. Away you go. Right, so we have a queue of seven at the reception desk, but that's not really an issue. And uh, yeah, we have now got 
two level two researchers so they're going to be able to continue grinding out cash for us all we need to do now is get the staff morale up to 75 percent and cure three more patients and we'll be fine so all i've been doing from time to time been checking on the health of my patients anyone that i know i can't cure has been getting sent home uh there are some issues in terms of like the some of the illnesses we simply can't cure uh gurning loins has been a really difficult one that's led to a lot of death same with a lot of the surgery stuff we don't really have the facility to be able to accommodate surgery patients but we're getting them because the reputation of the hospital is so high that's why we're running in a difficulty left right and center when it comes to these long queues building up and being unable to cure patients sufficiently but we are almost there that's our hundredth patient pre 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 patient cured we just need to get our staff morale up and the way i'm going to do that is of course by having a look at our staff again we're just going to go to a pay review we're going to make sure everybody's happy we've got faye field here who is not happy at the moment we are actually going to put her on a break see if that improves her happiness clementine biggles as well we're going to put you on a break and we have jacinta good we're going to just give you a little wage increase actually jacinta and then i'm just going to check on the morale there. it's still at 70 percent, so it hasn't really improved that much do we have any staff requests a level four deluxe clinic so yeah we're going to do that because that's going to boost our staff happiness and i think the only way to do that is going to be by selling this mega scan because we don't need two now and it was a deluxe clinic yeah so we'll put the deluxe clinic in uh can i fit it anywhere else actually no well we put it there it doesn't look amazing it's a little bit uh of a weird position for it but it does the trick we can always move it when we finally expand so we don't have any more staff targets why haven't these ward patients been cured yet what's going on in the ward oh the ward seems to have bugged They're all just kind of sat up in bed. Oh, that's very frustrating. We're not going to cure them now because of the bugging out of it. Unless they all very quickly rack up and we get them all cured in the next few days. Staff morale has dropped for some reason. I don't know why, but it has. But I think that we're, we've got enough now to finish that ward mission off. In fact, they've, they've all instantly been cured. So, <laughs> great. Okay, we did that. That's good. Five or six managed to be cured. But we did actually cure the last one as well. It just, because of the bug, it was a bit of a mess. Promote staff member. Promote cure two patients with turtle heads. We've got an epidemic. Four infected people. Now, I do want to look for these guys, but I also want to work out why my staff morale is dropping again. And it could well be that we just need to send a few more people home. Or there may be something a little bit more sinister lurking below the belly of this beast of a hospital. Uh, clown clinic? No. We don't treat clowns here, I'm afraid. You are just entering, aren't you? And uh, bye. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, why are you getting stuck so much now? Is it that? Yeah, the radiator was causing an issue. Okay, so that's just going to have to be a cold surgery, unfortunately. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of your scrubs. You can't just wander around like that. Right, let's have a look for some more infect thought that was an earthquake for a moment there but I think my screen just went a bit funny there's one get jabbed oh and there's another one nice right okay DNA lab is definitely gonna be the next building that we put down and uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find our staff we're gonna go to a pay review 
We're going to increase all the pay by 1% and we're just going to keep doing that until everybody's happy. There we go, everybody's happy now. Oh, well, all of the doctors are happy. The nurses, maybe not. There we go, and our assistants. You do deserve a much higher pay. There we have it. Right, 74. 75. Boom, there we go, guys. We've done it. Two stars. What is our final set of targets, then? Staff morale of 90%. Cure 2 in the patients. Hospital level 16. Okay, so... Um, once again, I'm going to play for a little bit and I'm going to work out what the next steps are and then of course we will skip through. So we're going to once again get our hospital level to 16. Staff morale is jumping up though so that's pretty good to know. Cool, right, pest control required. We don't want that one. We're going to build our DNA lab now very quickly. I have a blueprint for one, I'm sure I do. Nope, I lied to myself once again. Right, um, time to build a DNA lab. And our DNA lab will hopefully fit in here. We'll make it a big one, why not? And we'll just put in extinguisher, hand sanitizer and a large radiator. And leave it at that for now. We are generating a ton of research points very quickly though. We also need a pans lab. We need a thermal comfort of 80% which should be easily achieved because I've just moved into this new part of the hospital. The thermal comfort level goes down and there we go, it's up again. Fracture emergency, yeah, we'll get someone into the fracture ward. We just need to get the hospital level 16 and cure our patients now. So we've got three patients left to cure in the ward to achieve another public target. We've got some more training required. We're not gonna train you right now because we have some training going on in there already. Uh, we can probably build a pans lab as well now uh, and some of the more demanded rooms I guess we can now start putting in just to fill that out so we can put in this pans lab that we built a while back it's the surgery that's been the actual the main cause of our problems you died please don't do that here we don't accept death it is not on our uh, schedule I'm afraid so you know you just need to get over that and and, and just get on with life as if you went about to die I don't know what am I talking about right okay let's do some more treatment training we just need to make sure that we're doing things quick and proper because we need to stay on top of the money and keep knocking out these public targets I'm not sure where anyone who could be working in the turtle head clinic is or the shock clinic I don't know why the staff are taking so long to kind of go from A to B we have plenty of doctors but none of them seem to be going to where I want them to go. I guess we'll just bring in some more doctors then. We're in debt again though. Ooh. Right, okay. Is it time to just uh, drop this? We can't drop the staff pay. Ooh, no. We may have uh, done a little bit of a bad thing here. We just need to hope that we can get some staff promotions on the go before we start hemorrhaging cash to a point where we are in a lot of trouble. Um, we're going to have that money generated coming in soon. Like, I don't understand why these guys aren't in here curing patients with turtle head. There's somebody waiting and there's no staff coming out to deal with it. Is it because we've got too many... GP's officers, do we now need to remove one or two? I know what I'm going to do. We're just going to have some staff only work in one one part of the hospital. So where's Sean? Sean, you're not going anywhere but the Turtle Headedness Clinic. And Clementine, you're okay. You can just stay with GP's. We're going to have... Where's the other new guy gone? Well, you are only going to work in surgery. You're only doing research. 
You're only doing psychiatry, but can you do psychiatry and head office as well? No, psychiatry and shock clinic. Let's give that a go. Oh dear. Ooh ooh. And once again, people are starting to die, so we're going to kick some patients out. Okay, so we're, we're potentially heading for a little bit of a problem now. Okay, so we took out a loan. We then had a little bit of a, a grind and we sent a lot of patients home and stuff. I'm noticing now that we've got some doctors here that are just dancing around with patients. Uh, not doing anything. So, yeah, we need a level 4 DNA lab now and that should... Uh, we're just... Actually, what we're doing is we're just going into these places and slapping down plants and then immediately taking them back out. Right, okay, so that gets us a bit of money. So we ended up having to take out a loan because it got just a little bit nightmarish. Like a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do required some sort of money to begin the process of completing the task. So it became uh, too difficult to cope with. I'm going to edit this training suite uh, because I would like to fit in a couple more desks if possible. And I can actually fit in a couple more desks, so that's really good. There we have it. And now we're going to be able to do some mass training. Oh, we must have cured a third one in the ward. That's that's good. That's very good. Cure five patients. Promote a staff member. We've got a health minister on the way. Staff have requested that we cure 40 patients. I don't think we're going to do that. And in terms of the targets, the staff morale is dropping somewhat. And uh, that's a little bit of a annoyance. But I plan to leave this level long behind when I finish it. So I may just burn all my uh, remaining cash on <laughs> uh, finishing the level uh, and getting their reputation all the way up once I've hit the other goals. We do need to get our hospital level to 16 though, so that's something that we're going to need to consider moving forward. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of issues with the game today for some reason and I'm not really sure what it is. But yeah, Sean Filament just seems to be... I can't promote her. I can pick her up. I mean, she is working right now, so probably not the best thing to do. Uh, let's see who else we can promote. William, have a promotion, mate. There you go, well done. We are obviously going to have to build some more rooms at some point because we need to increase the hospital level to 16, so it's going to be important that we do that. Uh, I just need to work out when is going to be a good time to go for that expansion because we do actually have a, a loan now that we need to be aware of. I mean, it's not too bad. We've got 250k in the bank now and it's probably time that we had a quick little check of the loan that we've got. I can actually repay that now, but I don't know if that's a good idea so close to the end of the month, so we'll just hold off. I would like to not be saddled down with loan debt, but... I'm not going to launch a marketing campaign, my friend, so you can just uh, forget about that one. Yeah, I have a lot of like people who are just kind of getting lost somewhere in the whole sort of issue of it all. I don't really understand it. Anyway, we're going to promote a staff member if we've got one available for promotion. Penelope Mason, there you go. Have that promotion. Cure three patients in surgery is going to be a bit of a tough one. Unblock eight toilets, that should not be a problem. All right, so I am gonna try and do this without expanding too much. I wanna hit my Cure 200 patients target first on this time, and then we'll focus on trying to get our hospital level up. So once again, I'm gonna jump ahead and any changes that I make in the meantime, I'm gonna see what I can do, but I'm actually just gonna be letting this run and cranking out these like little targets and things. So I don't really see the point in me showing you this long drawn out process of me doing it so when it comes to us actually pushing for objectives that's when i'll be back and i'll cure my i'll get my hospital level up to 16 and if i do have to make any changes i will let you all know when we see you again all right so you join us at our end of year awards where we've just wrapped up everything apart from no deaths of course because we would never get that one would we ever we are terrible we've got one more infected patient to find uh i'm not sure where they are that might be them oh no he was cured and then died straight away <laughs> so one more and then i can show you exactly what we've done to get ourselves to hospital level 16. 
did a lot of training i will say that much we had a load of new staff come in as well so what's been really useful is the fact that they've been getting promotions and stuff like that so that's been pretty good to do and we actually expanded into this next room up here we obviously last time i left we had our dna lab and our extractor pan in we then added our injection room a chromotherapy room the ultrasonic cannon which is for the uh, people who have weird pet things <laughs> another surgery the clown clinic a second mega scanner we brought back in put a toilet block in and a marketing room anyway just in case we get some marketing tasks from the lord guy oh hello we found our last one there we go great okay so we've got a staff promotion on the go. We're not going to do that. So what I'd been doing was I haven't been promoting staff members until I get it as a public target. So this has obviously affected morale. I've got a public target there. So I'm just going to promote this guy. And we need to cure three patients in the surgery. But we are done pretty much with our objectives. So basically what I did was I held off on a lot of training and a lot of um, staff promotions until I was completely sure that I had it as a public target. I also started rejecting a lot more public targets because when I uh, got into a run of getting stuff where my finances were dropping and I needed to get rid of some, I noticed that my reputation barely moved after doing it. So that gave me a lot more comfort in binning targets that were unachievable or ones that take a while to achieve. I kept my research up and running, I kept that going as much as I possibly could. We did pay off that loan very quickly eventually. I kept research going, I saved all of the uh, good targets and used them a lot. So it's kind of things. Thing is, if you've got a target like this one, cure three patients in surgery, it's a $100,000 reward for doing it. But you can do that a bit quicker if you get like a mono beast uh, quest. And what all I was doing with those ones was they were hiding, obviously, under vending machines. I'd pick the vending machine up, a load of them would come out, I'd shoot them all really quickly, instant $50,000 in the bank in a lot quicker time than it takes to cure three patients in surgery. Then things like staff promotions and training staff members, what was really useful was I would wait until a staff was due a promotion but needed training for it, then I'd knock out those two targets very quickly as well. So we are at the end of this three star run. I am now going to just give my staff a load more money. Uh, we'll satisfy all of those pay requests and see how that affects morale. And then we're going to give them, we're going to give you a pay rise until you're happy. Are you happy? Wow, you're not happy at all. What's going to make you happy? 13% pay rise? Wow. Let's just give everybody a pay rise. And we'll just let it run for a little bit, see how that does. We'll uh, do the promotions that we need to do. But do we have anyone else who needs a promotion? Because we want to get them promoted first. Uh, no, nobody else needs a promotion. So, let's just quickly bump up the pay by 1% again and again keep going so everybody's making a lot of money now <laughs> we're at 86% morale 87 this is going to be it everyone's going to be very happy now and we're going to finish the level 88% come on guys 89 91 there we go we've done it that was a really tough level it was really good uh i really enjoyed uh the challenge of it uh it was nice to build a little bit slower and really take your time with things obviously the first episode in this three star run where we did the one star objective was mainly about setting up and kind of getting to grips with it so that was a lot longer this one obviously i've cut it down to a more highlights based sort of thing because it's very much the same when you're playing two point hospital uh, it becomes like a, a lot of micromanagement once you get those uh, first star objectives out of the way. The second and third are genuinely just more advanced versions of the first one. So it's all about how you develop moving on from that. Anyway, I hope uh, watching me be a little bit chaotic, but also having a little bit more of a plan in my mind was really helpful and entertaining. And if you're on this level as well, just take your time with it. Don't take out loans unless you are desperate, like if they're like approaching the failure sort of things but reputation is really easy to build in the game uh, another thing that i did to finish this one off really quickly was any uh, patients that were low health i'd send them home uh, if there was a queue building or if the treatment didn't look very attainable uh, like if you're talking between the 50 and 50 percent to 75 percent they're going home 
if they're on like anything below 50% health then the next kind of like step up between 75 and 90 percent if they're on quite low health again like below 25 percent they were still getting sent home it's no it's not worth risking it and it's also not worth having someone who's unhealthy in a queue one of the other things was because i was short of treatment rooms for specific illnesses they were still going through the diagnosis period which was causing a huge queue as well so look out for the telltale signs of an illness that you can't cure so like if you know that somebody if you don't have a dna lab but you're seeing someone with denim jeans just send them home straight away if you can't afford a dna lab because they clog up that diagnosis queue still right up until you've got a, a, a percentage diagnosis or until they've unveiled the illness and then they then tell you that they need this treatment room so that's like a couple of key tips there anyone who's unhealthy and you don't think you're going to be able to treat in time get rid of them just send them home i had my best and most fruitful um parts of this playthrough by doing that and that was when I started knocking down a lot of my targets and uh, the management of the hospital became a lot easier. So it is just a case of micromanaging on most levels in, in Two Point Hospital, but in particular this one, you've got to micromanage it and you've got to do it very well. So don't be afraid to slow down the pace. Don't be afraid to sell rooms, fire staff or what have you. Luckily, I didn't need to uh, because it was quite good to keep those high, highly qualified staff in. The one thing I do regret doing in that first instance was actually... Uh, giving such a large pay rise to my staff because that really tanked our finances when we were starting to get running into like difficult public targets that we couldn't quite hit in time that was why the money dropped that's why i needed to take out the loan but once i'd done that uh and i kind of got a grips with the level a little bit more on a more advanced scale i was able to uh, come out of that loan get that loan paid off obviously i would like to come back at some point and make something that looks a lot better than this because this just ended up being a mess it kind of resulted in me just throwing rooms down to make it stick and get that um hospital value uh, the hospital level up a little bit more but it would be nice to do something that was a little bit more free flowing with this now especially if we've already got a nice bank of fully trained staff in we could just redevelop the whole thing sell all the rooms and start from scratch reputation gets tanked and we just build up again anyway Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in our next one.